spring, O Orients, the one that comes from the east, the tradition that when Jesus comes again, he will come from the east. In our chapel, it's almost a direct east and west axis. The light that God provides, the stained glass windows in the morning that are just above the uh, uh, wall behind me is phenomenal. And the brightness of eternal light. We're affected several ways by brightness. Without brightness, without light, we stumble, we fall. Darkness is also a temptation for us to think that nobody sees. Why do more crimes happen at night? Because people think that they cannot get away with it. Probably has to do with carousing and some other things as well. If we have too much brightness, we know if we would stare at the sun for too long a time that we could become blind. We also know what happens when a spotlight or something comes into our eyes. So sometimes we feel darkness because God's light is so bright. We feel that God is so far away and that nothing seems to fit together because God's light is so bright that it overcomes our natural capabilities, capacities to understand when we try to fit God into our mind, there's an awful lot of God left over. And I, for one, try to fit God into my mind to figure out his plans all day, every day. And there, every single time that I try to do that, without fail, of course, there is more God than what I can begin to comprehend. And so we ask the Lord to come and enlighten them that sit in darkness. One of the realities of our day is we don't, it's not that we have, don't have enough light. Oftentimes we have too many lights. And we have lights that show much quicker patterns that catch the attention much more than the light of Christ. When Jesus said, I am the light, he didn't say I'm the most dazzling, sparkling, enticing light that you will ever see. No, he said, I am the light of the world. But many things in the world that promise to be light, to give people life, are actually great paths into darkness. And so we pray that the Lord comes and enlightens us, who still sit in shadows of darkness, and for all the people that really sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Come a radiant dawn, splendor of the morning light. Come, sun of justice, turn away the fire of night. Christ, circle round us. Christ, may your light surround us. beautiful refrain for Christ circle round us which is the title of this hymn Christ circle round us Christ in one of the beautiful hymns it's you are before me you are after me you are above me you're beyond me Christ circles round us there is no part of our life in all three dimensions past present to come that Christ is not present and we ask that his light, his love, his mercy surround us as well, so that indeed he shines in our living, and in our living, then he 
expresses himself in our life and that we give light to the world wherever we are, that people look at us and say, you know, there's something special about them. There's something special. How often have we heard of people who have become Catholic because they saw something special in a coworker or in a family that they were going to marry into, or there was something special about why are you so patient? Why are you so understanding in these situations? And so the response would be, oh, fill our hearts with glad thanksgiving. Because sometimes, I know I can, I can forget to be grateful. The Lord answers my prayers. The Lord is always with me. The Lord shines round about us, about me, and I can forget about glad thanksgiving. And so today, we pray with glad thanksgiving for O day spring from on high. Oh, come, oh, tell me now. Oh,